Good afternoon folks, today we're going to be sowing some Dactyloriza orchid species, or otherwise known as a marsh orchid. This is what a seed pod looks like, or a series of seed pods. Um, it almost looks like a, an ear of corn, as you can see. Now this is a dried one, in other words the seed pods themselves have already split open, which is not ideal, not what I like to use, but anyway well, I'll give it a go. Um, now it's important to note that I've cleaned all the surface with IPA, isopropyl alcohol, including my hands and my arms, all being wiped down, all the utensils being wiped down to sterilise it. We're using a sheet of paper with a lip on the front, and that's basically because I've got air coming out of the laminar flow hood towards me, and it's to stop the seeds from moving. We're using a small paddle-ended or uh, scoop-ended spatula, for gathering up the seeds once we've sterilised them we've got uh, a solution a 10 percent solution of hydrogen peroxide um, just for the sterilising material itself uh, a test tube for sterilising the seeds in uh, and again we've got the trusty kitchen roll which has been wetted with IPA and that's for wiping down purposes um, IPA itself in the bottle so the first thing we're going to do is extract the seeds and like I said this is already dry and the seed pods have got cracks in them so if we gently tap the stalk of the seed head and turn it like this at the same time and that will allow the seeds to fall out of the cracks onto the paper as you can see and it's only like dust it's not like a pea or anything like that you know it's not a proper seed as such it's just literally like dust so you have to be very careful with these and once you've got all your seeds on you need to then just flick through it and remove any bits of stalk any bits of husk or any insects actually um, and like I said they are very very light seeds so because there's a wind blowing towards me that's why there's a lip on the front of the paper to prevent the seeds from actually blowing away now I've already sterilized the surface uh, and I've applied the paper the sheet of paper to the wet surface and so it becomes wet like this and changes colour that's basically means that the paper itself has been saturated with IPA only for a, few, a minute or so and that will sterilise the paper and you can see it's done it because it changes colour like that so once we've done that we need to gather the seeds together and we're going to just tip them into this uh, test tube you have to be very careful because they will fly all over the place so just bend the paper in half and uh, it'll form into a groove in the centre like so and decant those into the test tube like that then you can discard the paper as you can see there's the seeds I mean in that small amount there must be tens of thousands of seeds and um, because they're produced in overabundance because such as a very very small quantity of them will actually germinate in the wild so they overproduce the seeds which is a good thing for us so now we're going to be adding the uh, hydrogen peroxide solution that we prepared and this is going to sterilize the seed now what you'll notice is that the seeds will stick to the side of the of the test tube and they'll also float to the surface and it doesn't matter how much you shake this mixture now them seeds are not going to be entirely wet and that's because each seed has air that's trapped around it um, caused by surface tension and so the only way that we can get rid of that is to add a single drop of washing up liquid or tween as you can see look the seeds will not mix into that liquid they just sat at the surface and stuck to the sides you see it doesn't matter which way up you go how well you shake it up the pop and that's because of the air and with the air comes bacteria and other contaminants so we need to add a drop of washing up liquid to that and hey presto watch this there we go and that will eradicate the surface tension and allow the 
water and the uh, hydrogen peroxide solution to get to the surface of the sea to sterilize it. Now you can already see that little slick at the top of the tube is much deeper than it was before. We just set that aside. These seeds need to soak in that solution with agitation for at least 10 minutes. We're going to clean his hands again. Sterilize, sterilize, sterilize. And today we're going to be using the seed sowing media flasklets available from the link that you can see on screen. Uh, and we're going to spray with IPA, isopropyl alcohol, all over the packet, even though it's already been done once. Um, I'm going to do it again. It's really important to eradicate as many bacteria and contaminants as possible. Inside the packets is already sterile, the atmosphere inside there and the tubes themselves uh, have already been sterilized so there's no need to wipe down as far as they're concerned. We're also going to today, because it's an experiment, be using these tubes available on the link that's now showing on screen and these are the replate or reflasking uh, flasklets and we're going to spray these down all over with IPA to sterilize and we're going to rub it into all the cracks and crevices and folds uh, before we actually open the packet and again this has already been done once before it went into the sterile area uh, but I do like to emphasize how important this stage is so we'll remove those and give these another shake and like I said these are dried seeds um, which I would normally not want to bother with because they, they are notorious of our being contaminated um, so we're going to consider this an experiment really rather than, uh, rather than a, a commercial venture as you can see the seeds are now dispersed throughout the liquid you can see them moving much more slowly than they were and all split into ones so we've got a, a round of standard filter paper and a glass beaker and I've also got a plastic funnel um, and a petri dish and what I'm doing with the paper is I'm folding it in half folding it in half again folding it in half again and just keep going and what you're trying to do is you're trying to create a small triangle uh, so that when you open it uh, it's sort of uh, it's like origami you can open it out and you can from a flat piece you can create a funnel shaped receptacle for the seeds like this so just fold them two folds in there you go flat to funnel shaped like magic so now we need to sterilize this and what I'm doing I'm actually just drenching it with IPA as you can see it's changing color so that's thoroughly wetted now And that's now a sterile piece of paper to receive the seeds. Now if we just put it inside the uh, glass uh, vessel, what you'll notice is it goes right down and it'll collapse in on itself. So it's not going to be very easy to just pour liquid into that. So what we, what we need to do is um, we need to put that inside a funnel like that and then we'll put the funnel itself inside the beaker so now we've got somewhere to pour the seeds without it collapsing in on itself and the liquid itself will drain into the glass beaker one final shake and these have been soaking for about about 10 minutes and we're going to sterilize the uh, little spatula that I've got again it's already been done once but I'm doing it again onto the sterile surface it's already been done and 
The glass beaker, by the way, has also been sterilized by spraying it and wiping it with IPA. So we're ready to begin the decanting. So all we've got to do, give it a final shake. Uh, I'm going to pour the liquid with the seeds in it into the center of the filter paper. No, you have to do it reasonably slow because otherwise the filter paper itself will will fill up with with the liquid and leave the seeds sticking to the sides as it as it drops the level. Um, which is, you know, it's okay. You can scrape them back in, but better if they're all in one position to start with. And there you can see the liquid coming out. So I'm going to rinse out the test tube with more of the uh, sterilizing liquid just to get those last few seeds and I'm going to use it to rinse down the sides of the filter paper and I'm going to use the last of the hydrogen peroxide liquid just to try and get as many seeds off the sides of the of the paper as I can and get them as, as low down as possible really just so that the seeds are more central on the paper like that just pour in gently around the edge and that's knocking them into the bottom and you leave this here for a few seconds until all of the liquid has drained through the paper down the spout of the funnel into the uh, beaker and that's more or less the seeds prepared as you can see it's just a few drips left I think that's slow enough that we can call that done. Now you can either spread the um, paper onto your sterile surface directly. This is the round paper, the filter paper, or you can place it into a petri dish like this. And this itself has to be sterilized, which again has already been done once, but I'm doing it again. Spray it with IPA all over, uh, top and bottom, sides, inside, and give it a good wipe down. Wipe down the surface when I've been spraying. And we're pretty much ready to begin. So as you can see, the seeds are now sterile and on the paper in clumps. And we're ready to begin flasking those up. So I'm using the round end, end of the spatula just to scrape small piles of seeds together as you can see and in that little bit on the tip of this spatula there will be thousands of seeds if you can see that just about there you go and we're going to start with the seed sowing media and the best way to I found of removing the seeds from the spatula is to just dip the tip into the jelly itself which kind of deposits it on the surface like that and then just spread it out as evenly as you can you want to aim to get the seeds evenly distributed right across the surface Hopefully you can see this. You see that? They're all over the surface. Not left it as one clump. So I'll do the rest of these. Grab another one. Now it's important to note that when I'm scraping the seeds together, uh, I'm only doing it lightly. I'm not mining into the paper. You know, I'm just literally kissing the surface. Um, to get those seeds and we'll deposit them on the surface like that and spread them around you don't really want any paper fibers in here not that it's going to be a big issue because they are sterile but nevertheless you don't really want things in this tube other than the seeds do it again And again, these are the um, 
the seed sowing flasklets available in packs of three from orchidspecies.co.uk We also sell the seed sowing media in dry form so that you can mix it yourself or in, in ready made tubes as these, it's up to you. Now the other one that we're going to be using are the replate or transplanting flasklets like these with the black bottoms and that's because of the charcoal that's in the blend. These are also available on the website orchidspecies.co.uk Now I'm getting good feedback from people using these for seeds This is the tramp transplanting media uh, So like I say it's only an experiment this so we'll give it a go it's The same process Now what I'll be doing once we've done all these flasks uh, I won't be just throwing that piece of paper away that I'm scraping the seeds off uh, I'll, I shall allow that to dry and then I'll be taking that outside and brushing the seeds what's left uh, on it onto the rockery or any tubs that may be outside any planters um, because what you find is that Dactylorhiza particularly seems to seed itself all over the place once once you've got the right environment outside it will seed itself everywhere but it particularly likes planters and rockeries so uh, just scrape the, scrape the seeds um, off this paper onto the rockery waste not want not same thing applies to the old seed pods that you've now discarded don't throw them away just literally get hold of them take them outside and crumble the entire thing onto a planter or onto your rockery and you'd be surprised that, um, that some of them will actually germinate. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain by doing that. So that's about it. That's the last of the seeds sown. And that's how you do the dried seed pods or dried seeds. That's how you sow onto sterile soy media. Don't forget, all this stuff's available on orchidspecies.co.uk. And don't forget to check out the other videos that we've got. Uh, one of the other videos is, is showing the same process but using sterile green seed pods, i.e. before they've burst open, which is the preferred method, I think. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care.